Well, good evening. Nozwonki here. Well, you'll never guess what I'm doing. So I'll tell you. I'm uh, trying to play a cassette. I found an old cassette that I want to play. And uh, I've got this cassette player, which is a fairly, well, it's a fairly new one in, in relative terms. It's probably 15 years old. And it's one that uh, probably hasn't been used that much. It's double. So you can copy cassettes. So I uh, plugged it in and tried it. And I was getting a power light, but that's all. You know, when I press like forward or rewind, nothing. So I opened it up, as you can see, and uh, it's mostly empty space. See that? <laughs> mostly empty space. And uh, what I found was the drive belt. Well, this one was broken. And the other one, like, you know, there's one for each side. The other one was, had come off the wheels, right? Anyway, I managed to put it back on. And when I did, the one on this side works. I wonder if you can see that. You yeah, see that wheel there? It's got a, a belt on it that goes across to this motor. The motor's got a wheel, a drive wheel, and it drives this wheel. That drives the tape. That belt was off. I managed to put it back on, and now now it seems to work. Well, at least I've fast-forwarded it. Now I'm going to rewind it all the way, because this tape, it's got the date written on it. It says it was recorded in March 1977. So it's, you know, so it's probably a bit delicate. I don't want to. Um, tried playing it until I've forwarded it and rewound it um, to, to make sure it's wound on the reels sort of evenly and it's not scrunched up or anything. These are the problems of cassette technology. <laughs> now what is this tape? I hear you ask. Actually I'm not sure but I think it's me um, playing music like guitar or piano or something, I don't know. Well, I've just tried playing the tape. This is the tape here. It's got some of my uh, art on it. See that? I drew that. I was a, uh, only a child when I drew this. That's like, uh, that's like my logo there. <laughs> it says recorded March 1977. Anyway, I tried playing it and it was turning but I wasn't hearing anything. Then I stopped it and then I pressed play again and as I pressed it I could hear, hear some music just as I was pressing it but when I press the play button all the way in it stops. Uh, well I mean the sound stops the wheels keep turning. So I think there's something funny about the player that it's not, it's not playing properly. But there is something on the tape problem is these drive belts, when they get old, they, they get loose and they don't work anymore. So, I think I'll abandon this. And what I've done is I've found another cassette player. This one. This was um, my mother's, I think. It's got a CD on top. A cassette player on the front. Give that a go. Well, guess what? It doesn't work, this one. Um, the wheels that drive the tape don't turn. Yeah, it's probably the same problem. It's the, you know, the rubber drive belts are probably too old. This would probably be 10 years old, this one. 10 years? Yeah, it's probably 10 years. <laughs> Helicopter. 